Steve. Hey, good morning. Well, I don't know if it's morning if you're watching this, but uh, it's morning here, man. I just want to give you a better look. You know, um, I, I know I showed you these cars that are, uh, they were in the, um, God, they look good. Look at the windshield. They were in the little pit case there, but I wanted to show you, hey, listen, nothing majorly wrong with them. The wheel wells are there. It, it, again, if they've made it into my collection, they're pretty good. Again, there might be a minor, subtle, subtle flaw, uh, but again, they're really good. I know that this gray one back here that's uh, close to the camera, the windshield has a flaw in it, but it's a, it's a factory flaw. It isn't because it um, hit or anything. Uh, if you know a little bit about the plastics there, you can see that it was uh, made like that, so it's like a factory defect. Kind of neat, but some guys would go, oh, it's cracked. Well, no, that, that's actually from the factory. Um, the yellow one, the white one, blue one, I mean, it, boy, they're all just strong. I love the black one. The way the black looks with the uh, uh, the tan boot and then the red carpet, that is just a strong, strong, strong jag. So let me go ahead and put the other ones up there. Uh, again, I just wanted to show you, because if you're going to be um, buying these, I want you, I want to make sure that you know what the heck you're going to get instead of just the, uh, uh, you know, an overview of the cars. So let me go ahead and get some other ones up there for you, Steve, just a sec. All right, Steve. Here's here's the um, I think they're all galaxies. Yeah, the galaxies. Uh, I I love the convertible up there. I mean, just really, really, really choice. Everything's strong on it. Uh, what's interesting about the uh, tan police car? Look at that tan police car right there. That um, there's no police on the trunk. Now I uh, don't know if it's shown up real good, but you can see the star on the side there, uh, the beacon on top. So yeah, we got all that, but there is no police. So did. Aurora not put that on there? Probably, probably. I don't know. When I got it, it there, there was no police on there, no police there. And I, again, with all these vibrators, I believe that the chassis do run, uh, some better than others. And one of the police cars is a vibrator, and the other one, the, the white police cars, the other one has a T-Jet chassis. So it literally screams around the track. But what's interesting is the they're both vibrator bodies, but when you look at the beacon, it's like one was glued on and one was molded into the roof there. Uh, you know, so just a, a, a little bit different. That's why I have both those. And again, the other convertible there, just absolutely just strong all the way around. So I, again, I'm just trying to give you a good look at what's going on. Again, no major screw posts or anything. If there are subtle, subtle, subtle flaws uh, and you see them and I don't, I apologize for not mentioning them, but they're, they would be that subtle. And yeah, on that tan, um, on that tan galaxy, the, the police car, you can see the other uh, star there. So again, it's meant to be a police car, but there's no evidence of police ever being on the back of that. All right, there's some more in that little pit case. Let me go ahead and swap those out. Here's the other vibrators and um, that, that that were in the same bin there. Got the hot rod, the convertible hot rod. That's that is just striking. I I've always loved the. Uh, the spinner wheels and the vibrators like that and you can tell it's a vibrator body also because it has the four pipes on each side there guys good I mean it just I believe that one actually works real good and the yellow truck you gotta have those man uh, I'm sorry if you if you like the vibrators those trucks are just awesome and we have the uh, vet that is the only hard top that I have there I love that bugger the green it's just like that it's just a cool color now we have the um, the van body now I don't know if I'm going to be selling that, reason being, and I'll show you here in just a second, I did some customization to that bugger. The back door actually works, it comes down, and I did put like a little diorama on the inside of it, so um, I, I know it was in the bin, but that's probably one I'm going to hold on to unless you throw me a ridiculous figure to have that. So well, let me just show you the inside of that real quick. Just so I can um, point out to you, the reason I modified it, you see the back bump right there? where it was broke. After that happened, I said, okay, it's the piece is broke, and I just started modifying it. So what I did do, what I did do is I made the back door slide down. I made that slide down, so that works. The door actually works, uh, comes all the way down, comes out. And um, again, there's a little diorama in there. Let me set this down, refocus, just a sec. There we go. So when you take the, uh, the top off there, it's like, um, you know, everything, you know, home sweet home. You got the couch, you got the easy boy, you know, you got a lot of different things in there. But I was just having fun. Again, once that back bumper thing broke on me, I figured just, you know, might as well modify it. So it's tricked out, and it's um, it's a piece I really, really like, uh, enjoy having in my collection. And again, you're going to have to throw me a silly figure to get that one um, out of my hands. But uh, I did want to show it to you. Let me get the uh, other bit of the vibrators here for you. Just a sec. 
might see, hey, you got the uh, T-Birds on the little uh, Lazy Susan turnstile T-Jet track intersection thingy here that I got. Uh, a couple of gray ones up front, man. We got the light one, got the dark one. Now, hey, listen, these are not the metallic ones. They are not, they aren't. I wish they were, but they are not the metallic ones. Uh, so that's what we got there. The green one, the tan one next to it, very, very strong. The white one, I love that. I, the one thing about the tan, I've heard this, as far as if you find, especially in these um, the, the, these uh, T-Birds, if you find a roof that matches the body, that's more desirable. So the tan one there, a little bit more desirable. Again, the green one's strong, uh, the white one. Now, the, the ones uh, in the back there, the two blue ones there, oh, my God. Um, again, the, 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 the blue one that's closest to us with the tan roof, the roof has the paint on the outside. That's, a, again, a hard find. And um, the one next to it, very, very strong. The yellow one, the, um, what is that, wine colored? Again, <laughs> both just very strong. No wheel wells cut or anything like that. Um, and again, that wine one right there, the roof, it's painted on the outside, very desirable, very uh, hard to get. And um, those are um, most of what was in the bin. Let me, I, I can't see the bins on open right now, but let me see uh, what else is in there. I'll put it on the uh, track here for you. And we've got a couple of the semis here. The white one, great shape. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that one just hauls ass around the track. The, uh, the what color is that, gray. Um, let me see if I can line it up for you. See the back hull there? It needs to be mended. Um, it'll probably pull a truck, but it won't make the back wheels of that truck turn like it should. That's the only uh, flaw that I know it has in it. And again, it runs very well. The Country Square uh, wagon, there's a very, 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 very slight, slight um, crack in the front screw post, but you can see the way that when Aurora drilled it, they didn't drill it in the screw post in the center of the screw post. They drilled it very, very close to the edge, so I'm not surprised there's a thin crack in it. It seems like it would be a normal occurrence if you drilled it uh, the way that they did, but it's in fine shape after that. There's nothing matter than after that. So um, that's it for the uh, vibrator cars. Uh, again, I know we're talking about some of the T-Jets. I'll give you a quick picture of uh, just a few of the other ones that I got. Here's a little pit case. Uh, a lot of guys like the sand vans and the dune buggies, that thing. I do too. I do too. Um, I know that the uh, dune buggy in the dead center row at the very top, that green one, hard to get. And I know the same row all the way down the bottom, that purple one, very, very hard to get. Uh, there is a chromie in there that I just think is in wonderful condition. I think it was like a speed line or something, but boy, I put a little uh, T-Jet chassis in there. I love that chromie. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, and as far as the sand vans, the only one, and I, I'd really like to have it, the only one I don't have is the blue sand van, and I think it should have a white roof if I'm not mistaken. That's the only one I don't have there are those. Um, if you like the sand vans, or you like the dune buggies, i got a bunch to choose from. All right, got a uh, almost uh, full pit case of the um, the 63, the split windows, the bats there. The uh, hard one to find there is the slate. That's a very very desirable one. That's in the uh, left hand um, left hand column there in the in middle row there. That, that's a hard one to find. The two um, they're olive. The two olive ones there that are side by side. One of them's darker than the other. You can tell that Aurora mixed the uh, the plastic just a little bit different. I uh, got a chromie up there. I think that's a speed line. Uh, middle row, center, way up top there. The gray one. That's another tough one to find, but uh, I, I, I got it there for you. So, um, don't know if you like the vents, but I wanted to show you the vents. And I uh, got a bunch of cheetahs too. Uh, the only cheetah I don't have, I think, color wise, is uh, I think they made a pink one. So, I got the red, the orange, the yellow. I uh, got again a chromie. I think that's a speed line. Uh, the other one, now, you see the blue one, I love the blue one. The turquoise one up there, that was a, um, one of the tough ones, that was orange to begin with. It is absolutely stunningly done. I did not do it when I got it, it was painted turquoise there, but it is one of the best uh, paint jobs I have ever seen on a T-Jet. There's just like a little bit of the, uh, an orange chip in the, in the window post there, and you know, you get a little bit of orange showing through there. But my gosh, what a strong, 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 um, I mean, they even did the, uh, the, the hubs, you know, they painted the hubs the same color. So again, uh, I, I've got a bunch of the cheetahs there. The only one I don't have is the pink. I think you had to get the pink, like, uh, maybe just the body through, uh, buying a piece of track. It was like an extra or something like that. 
a lot of guys like the Buicks. I love the old Rivieras like that. Um, gray one, hard to find. Got a nice looking gray one there. Um, I've got the two green ones here. One of them's dark green, like that hunter green. The other one's the olive. Uh, the one that's the dark green that has police on it, I put a, like a little uh, beacon light there. Uh, I put an engine on it. It had holes in it when I got it, so I thought I'd do something fun with it. The blue one, very, very desirable. Very difficult to find. The slate one, same. I don't know which one of those would go more. Um, they're both in great shape, but uh, those two, people give their front teeth to have either of those. What do we got in the back there? A little AMX and a couple of the, um, what do we got? The El Camino's back there. They got surfboards. Again, if they've made it to my collection, unless I'm saying something about it, there's nothing grossly a matter with them. Like window post, everything should be there the way it should be. And uh, if you're going to buy like a, a uh, an amount or a lot of these from me, I'll make sure you get the pick cases too. I wouldn't dare not send those as well. All right, just a sec. And uh, what do we have here? Um, a little bit bigger than a pit case. The um, the Firebirds, the Camaros there. Uh, we have the Mach 1s. Uh, I think I'm missing like the medium blue Mach 1 there or a couple of colors, something like that. A lot of the, um, what do we got, Mustangs there. We've got the convertibles, the hard tops, the... Hey, there's a wild one right there. There's a wild one. Uh, what else we have? More Mustangs, more Mustangs, more Mustangs, a bunch of Mustangs. Then we get to the Ford, what is it, the uh, Galaxy? The, uh, yeah, got some Galaxies there. Uh, I believe the blue one, very, very desirable, very, very hard to find. Then we get into the um, Jags back there. Got some Chromies, a Peach Chromie. Um, what else we got going on? There's a gray one, very desirable, hard to find in that condition. Got a, um, what else, a slate one over there and a black one. Both the slate and the black are very desirable. Again, very, very hard to find. So that's what I got going on there. I've got uh, many, many, many more pit cases. I don't want to take your entire day up, Steve. If there's uh, a certain style of car or something that you uh, got your uh, mindset on, maybe I got a pit case full of them for you. So um, let me know. Talk to you later, buddy. See ya.